Welcome to Colonel Basketball Weekly as we take an inside look at Nichols State University hoops. Today's program is presented by the Sports Medicine Center of Thibodeau Regional, the official sports medicine provider of Nichols Athletics. Colonel Basketball Weekly is also sponsored by Rouse's Supermarkets. You're either local or you're not. And People's Health, your Medicare health team. Hello and welcome to Colonel Basketball Weekly, presented by the Sports Medicine Center of Thibodeau Regional. I'm your host, Mike Wagenheim. Folks, the Nichols women's basketball team entered this past week in third place, just one loss behind Lamar and Stephen F. Austin in the Southland Conference standings. While trying to catch those clubs, the Red and Gray were also trying to make a little bit of history by extending their winning streak to six games, which would be the longest in program history. They'd have their shot Saturday afternoon at Stouffer Gym here in Thibodeau, where the Colonels had lost just once in league play this year, and they'd have a chance to do it against their rivals from southeastern Louisiana, who hadn't won on the road yet. Lady Lions jumped out to a slim advantage early, but Nichols senior Jenny Nash comes up with a steal, and she leads the break, stepping up and pulling back for the three. Nichols with 15 steals. Nash had a pair of those to go with 19 points. Colonels turned the ball over 22 times as well, though. Jamika Hoskins with a steal in the transition bucket. This is part of a 13-3 Southeastern run. Hoskins with a team-high 14 points, six boards, three helpers, three steals. Lady Lions would stretch the lead to double digits. Nichols looking to respond. Hope Pulowski retrieves the block shot and hit the jumper. She matched a career high with 15 points. Junior Imani White needing only eight points to become the 13th player in school history with a thousand for her career. She got it in the first half, scoring 11 of her 16. Colonels, though, still trailing at the half by one. Nichols able to reclaim the lead in the first minute after intermission. Shea Arnick off the mark, but Pulowski cleans it up. Nichols with an 11-2 run coming out of the locker room. Tia Charles closed out the spurt with back-to-back -back three pointers. The freshman led the Colonels with a game-high 20 points while adding five assists and four steals. Charles knocked down three of the Colonels' eight three-pointers. SLU finished the day making 15 of 29 from beyond the arc, and Erica hernandez Cray pulls the Lady Lions within four with 14 minutes to go. But the defense was outstanding down the stretch, and Nichols shot 49% for the game, holding the Lady Lions to 15 points through the first 15 minutes after the break. Pulowski with a thievery there, setting up Nash, and that made it a seven-point game with 13 to go. Pulowski again here, quick hands, she was one of five Colonels to score in double figures. The lead would balloon to 20 points as Nichols allowed just one field goal and a pair of free throws during a critical five-minute period late in the game. Alexis Allen with a steal in the outlet to Nash, who continues to lead Nichols in points, rebounds, and assists. The Lady Lions added four three-pointers down the stretch to shrink the final margin to 13. But Nichols with a 93-80 to decision, and with it, they established a new program record. But more importantly, the Colonels stay within a game of first place in the Southland Conference standings. There are six games remaining on the league slate, and Nichols will visit SFA in a big matchup this Saturday. Here are the Southland Conference women's basketball standings entering this week. Lamar, Stephen F. Austin, and Nichols just refuse to lose. They are 1-2-3, and three. then a three-team pack right behind, all in the mix for a Southland tournament by or two. Sam Houston State would be the final team to qualify for the tourney if the season ended today. Al, we spoke with Colonel Head Coach Doobie Plaisance after Saturday's triumph about the new program record. Thank you, thank you. And it's, uh, it's, it, it, it's a situation here at Nichols that it's, oh, it, it's the people that I'm surrounded with, my awesome players, is so much bigger than any record we ever break or anything like that because it's who we're doing it with and how we're doing it is so priceless to us. And, and the thing about this record, it's, it's a consistency record is what it is. A absolutely. And, and I think we're going to stretch it. <laughs> you know, it's about our defense, and we, we are coming together so much for each other. It is truly about us. It's about the we and team. There's, there isn't any eyes out there. And as long as we keep that up and we keep that grind up, I mean, we're grinding, we're gritty. We were down today. Taylor Morrison, our sixth man, was out. Every time you turn around, it's a, something a little tweak we have to get over. But our players, they keep coming back. They're fighting. And I, I cannot be any proud of her. Again, today is a big day for Nickel State University because I'm just excited to be a part of being surrounded by so many incredible people. Southeastern, 47 points in the first half. They hit nine threes. What changed for you defensively after halftime? Man, well, 
we switched to a man sort of three quarters of the way through the uh, through the, um, the first half. But I think it was our ability to press, stretch the defense, slow that transition game up because they had 12 transition buckets, which were, was ridiculous. And then we just stayed in that man and really smart about player personnel. So, again, it was our grit and our grind and, and the attention to details that got us through it. And Monty White over the 1,000-point mark. And any time that child is on the court now with – Everything she's going through, her courage is such, is, it, to me, that's a piece of history. And that's something that everyone should be inspired about because whether it's an assist, a, a missed shot, or made shot, the fact that she's out there is something just to be marveled at. Coach, you got a shot at winning this thing. Yes, we do. And uh, not to be cliche-ish, but I can tell you it, it's, about, it's about the details in the day. And we have to take care of the day. And... We do have our eyes on the prize. I've had my eyes on the prize since I got here. <laughs> but we understand we can't get ahead of ourselves. And we are going to be in the day, in the details. But, you know, we know how close we are. And it's like we told them at practice this week, you didn't come this far just to make a tournament or be third. You came to go get the thing. Now, it's in the details day to day. Take care of the details, and we're going to be good. All right, Coach, go for number seven on Wednesday. Best of luck. Thanks, Mike. I appreciate you. The head coach of the Colonels, Doobie Blazons, will be back with more Colonel Basketball Weekly, presented by the Sports Medicine Center of Thibodeau Regional, right after this. In sports, you strive for first or best. The Sports Medicine Center of Thibodeau Regional is both. The region's first comprehensive sports medicine program with a team of the best sports medicine trained experts. You're serious about the game. We're serious about your safety. With advanced concussion testing technology and certified athletic trainers, we're keeping athletes safely in the game. Play hard. Play to win. The Sports Medicine Center of Thibodeau Regional will help you play it safe. Donnie, I'm in Rouse's at least three times a week, and I want the best prices every day. Come on, chef. Let's go shop. All right. There's got to be at least a thousand items just on this one aisle. At Rouse's, we stock more groceries than anyone else. I can see that. So what's with the tag? Best price every day. It's the Rouse's guarantee. You're getting our lowest price every day. So when I see this tag, you know you don't have to wait for a sale. I can shop any day. And get our best price every day. Rouse's. You're either local or you're not. Well, we're all about the people that we care for. At People's Health, we know that when it comes to health, what works is teamwork. Each People's Health Plan member has a team of talented professionals working together to coordinate care so our members can do what they love to do. That's what we do. We're here for you with People's Health. People's Health, your Medicare health team. You may not know this yet, but you've stumbled upon something great. With your first steps onto this campus, you'll definitely notice something special. We're going to turn your education into an experience, and we're going to find your passion and with it create endless possibilities. But you found more than just a university. You found a campus of believers, a campus of personal cheerleaders, investors, and dream makers. You found Nichols State University. Welcome home, Colonels. Welcome back to Colonel Basketball Weekly, presented by the Sports Medicine Center of Thibodeau Regional. Folks, Nichols junior guard Imani White surpassed the 1,000-point plateau for her career back on Saturday. Now, that was expected to happen entering this season. Everything else, though, has taken both her and her team by surprise. Here's Beatrice Beard. A year ago, Colonel point guard Imani White was first team All-Southland honoree as a sophomore, with her best days of basketball still ahead of her. But things change in the blink of an eye this season, as White's been forced to play through a debilitating hip injury due to lupus, changing the game plan dramatically for Imani and her team. A lesser player and team would have been crushed, but these Colonels have rallied around White and each other and are doing special things together. Lupus is an autoimmune disease that can attack the skin, joints, or organs and attack tissues. Symptoms can include joint or muscle pain, fever, rashes, and fatigue. In White's case, it's attacking her hip tissue. The junior had an MVP caliber sophomore season, and it wasn't until this November when problems arose. This year, I played like two games. We played against, I think, Arkansas, and then we played against Suno. 
And right after that game, that's when uh, my hip flared up. White ended up missing 11 games, seeing a number of specialists and attempt to diagnose the issue. And while the news wasn't promising and the pain was great, White made her return to the floor in mid-January. While her full playmaking abilities have yet to return, White is still an important contributor to the Colonel's recent run of success. Amani can just get things done, but since these recent developments, it's she's not allowing that to define her, and it's a testament to her. She will come into practice and leave practice on crutches. She will come into a game and leave games on crutches. But her performance on the court, it's almost like, what are you talking about? Is anything really wrong with this child? As Imani has been strong for her teammates, they have returned the favor. Worry less about Imani the star and more about Imani the person. It's that family atmosphere the team has that has been a driving force that keeps White going. My coaches and my teammates very been very supportive. Uh, definitely Coach Doobie from day one. She's been supportive. Uh, whatever my choices was, she was with it. If I didn't feel, you know, that I could play, then she was with it. But she's the last person that'll make me come off the court. It's all up to me. She knows how bad I love uh, basketball and how bad I want to play. White has had to make many adjustments, including coming out of her point guard spot, moving to the two guard to save her legs a bit more each night. She says her faith is helping her take everything going on in her life, on and off the floor, in stride. My mom always told me that God not going to put too much on you that you can't handle. So, I mean, if it was meant for me to have it, then it was meant for me to have it. I'm not going to question it. Through the challenges White has faced this year with lupus, it hasn't stopped her from making her mark. She's averaged nine points a game since her return, giving the team all she has for nearly 20 minutes a night. While she might not dominate the way she once did, Imani may help give the Colonels what she's really wanted all along, a Southland Conference championship. For Colonel Basketball Weekly, I'm Beatrice Beard. Thank you so much, Beatrice. Folks, after winning back-to-back -back games for the first time all year, the Nichols men's basketball team looked to build on that success last Tuesday at Incarnate Word. The Cardinals are owners of one of the top five scoring offenses in the nation, but in a recent meeting in Thibodeau, Nichols held UIW way under their season average and dominated in most categories, only to fall short on the scoreboard as shots just weren't falling. But the offense had been clicking lately, and the Colonels headed to San Antonio with high hopes. Let's take you out to the McDermott Center. Junior guard T.J. Carpenter led Nichols with a season-high 20 points and seven rebounds, both team highs. The early three gave Nichols a 3-2 advantage. Nichols would outshoot UIW from the field, but hit just three of 16 three-pointers. Incarnate words, Denzel Livingston, probably the most dangerous player in the conference. He can strike from anywhere on the floor, gives a lead back to UIW there. He had a big, big night. This one was tight through the first 15 minutes. Both offenses struggled to get it going. Livingston jars the ball loose here and dishes to Kyle Hiddle on the other end. Turnovers were a crushing blow for the Colonels. Nichols trailed by as many as nine. Jadante Fry, hot hand right now. He went five of 10 from the field, scoring 13 points. Colonels, though, down six at the break. They got back in it, though, in the opening minutes of the second period, scoring six straight. Just wonderful ball movement here. The assist from Liam Thomas to fellow Aussie Sam McBeth, UIW. Took the lead back on a pair of Livingston free throws, and they cash in on the fast break. Livingston with a 32.6 rebound night, four assists, no turnovers, seven steals, just ridiculous. Colonels, though, would tie it up with 16 minutes to go. Backdoor bounce there from Thomas to Macbeth. Hiddle, however, went on for 18 points, one of the best long-distance shooters in the league. Hits a big one here. UIW back on top with 15 to play. Each time Nichols pulled within striking distance, the Cardinals responded, knocking down free throws and extended the lead. Nichols down six, Fry scored there, and they went out of free throw to make it a one-possession game. Nichols dramatically improving at the free throw line, but just too many self-inflicted wounds. The turnover there, Livingston reading the pass at midcourt. Things fall apart over the final 12 minutes as the Colonels commit seven turnovers during that stretch. UIW up by as many as 15, and they would win handily. Folks, Nichols finished with more points in the paint, more rebounds, more second-chance points, bench points, blocks, too many turnovers and too many UIW free throws. Well, the Colonels came back to face their foes from southeastern Louisiana on Saturday. The Lions had put together back-to-back -back wins for the first time all year and were out for revenge after getting bounced from the Southland Tournament by Nichols last season. Here we go to Stouffer Gym. 
The Colonels controlled the majority of the first half. Two minutes in, the feed to Liam Thomas, who finds to Dante Fry backdoor. Nichols up 4 0. Fry's only bucket. He ended up with nine points, seven of those from the free throw line. Lion newcomer Zay Jackson, their leading scorer this year, rattled off their first seven points on Saturday. He was pretty quiet after that initial spurt, finishing up with 10 points on four of eight shooting. Around the 12 minute mark, the lead was hovering at one. Again, the baseline cut. This time it's Sam McBeth to Jamarcus Horace. The Colonels had 12 assists on 15 field goals. That dunk sparked a 13 3 run. About nine minutes left before halftime, Sam McBeth starts to get it going. Bonus ball here, part of a 14 point effort for McBeth. He had seven rebounds as well and a pair of blocked shots. Nichols up by 11, six minutes remaining in the period, but the Lions busted out for a 17-6 run. The alley-oop to Devontae Upson, who scored a team-high 12. Late in the half, Cedric Jenkins collects the missed shot and takes it coast to coast. The Colonels hit just 36% from the field, 5 of 17 from downtown, and this game is tied 31 all at the break. Nichols again killed themselves. 22 turnovers. They gave this one away early in the second half. Southeastern takes advantage. Jenkins finds Justin Lobel for the corner three. That put SLU on top by two. The Lions went eight of 15 from downtown. In the second stands, at neither team led by more than five through the first 18 minutes. Seven minutes to go. It's Richie Lewis with a helper to McBeth. Ball game tied at 48. Lewis also scored 11 and registered three steals. But Lion freshman Dylan Maggio, huge off the bench. He took three shots, all from behind the arc, and hit every one of them. That three ball gave the lead back to the Lions with six minutes left. Nichols responds, though, five minutes to go. Fry misses the dunk but makes amends with the assist to Luca Camber. We're tied at 51. Camber had eight points. But the Lions took advantage of three Colonel turnovers to close on a 12-6 run and seal the victory. Jimmy Duplessis with a lay-in to give SLU the lead for good with 2-12 to go. Colonels fall 65 to 59. Nichols now sitting at 7 and 15 overall, 4 and 8 in conference. They struggled mightily to score, especially after halftime, and let that big lead fall by the wayside. Now let's take a look here at the Southland Conference standings entering this week. Texas A&M Corpus Christi snaps Stephen F. Austin's 32-game league-winning streak on Saturday. Sam Houston now holds a half-game lead on the Lumberjacks. Looks like a two-way race at this point with Northwestern State and Corpus in the driver's seat for a first-round bye in the SLC tournament. Abilene Christian and McNeese State continue to fall. Now Nichols head coach J.P. Piper knows his team could make a strong year-end push if they can only control the game a bit better. Yeah, we're not managing the basketball well. Too many foolish turnovers, um, too many missed opportunities. Um, some of the plays we missed on don't go down as turnovers, but they're missed layups uh, close to the rim, uh, plays we expect to make by guys we expect to make those plays. So uh, frustrating for me, obviously, frustrating for the guys as well, stuff we've got to clean up. Um, again, I, I like our... Intensity. I like our uh, intention to do the things we're asking them to do. We just got to make the plays. Still a long ways to go here and, and still a chance to make some moves in the schedule other than Stephen F. Austin works in your favor. Yeah, no question. We've got some uh, winnable games at home. We've got a few games on the road that we should expect to have a chance to win. So, um, you know, no time to hang our heads. We really need to rally around one another. This uh, break that we have coming up comes at a good time. We need a little rest. And then uh, we need to finish this year out strong and find a way to string together a few wins heading to Katy. All right, Coach, we'll talk to you again next week. Thanks for your time. Absolutely. Thank you, Mike. The head coach of the Colonels, J.P. Piper. Folks, we'll be back with more on Colonel Basketball Weekly presented by the Sports Medicine Center of Thibodeau Regional in just a moment.
Coming back to you on Colonel Basketball Weekly, presented by the Sports Medicine Center of Thibodeau Regional. Folks, we got you covered all season long. On Saturday, the Colonel men's basketball team visits Stephen F. Austin. Then on Monday, they host Northwestern State. Listen to both games on KQKI 95.3 FM and watch Monday's home game online on Colonel's All Access. The women's basketball team, meanwhile, plays host to Northwestern State on Wednesday and will visit Stephen F. Austin on Saturday. You can hear both games on KNSU 91.5 FM and live video of Wednesday, uh, Wednesday's contest here at home is available online at Colonel's All Access. Well, college baseball season got underway this past weekend. The Colonel baseball team came up just one game short of a Southland championship in 2014, and they were looking to make a statement that they are here to stay as they hosted Stony Brook, a Northeastern powerhouse here in Thibodeau. With a recap, here's Joanna Ducre. While the Colonel's pitching staff had a rocky start against Stony Brook, they managed to lock down the Seawolves in the last two games of opening weekend at Ray E. Didier Field in Thibodeau. In Friday's season opener, Stony Brook jumped in front 2-0 in the first three innings and added three more runs in the fifth. Meanwhile, it wasn't until the bottom of the fifth that the Colonels were even able to reach base. The Seawolves scored one last time in the eighth inning, picking up a 6-0 win. I think Friday it was a little bit of nerves and excitement at the same time because we have so many new guys. And we were just, um, I think, more relaxed and, and ready to go on Saturday and Sunday. And I think the score showed it too. Following the defeat, the Colonels pushed for a comeback on Saturday as junior outfielder Alex Shermer blasted a triple off the center field wall in the second inning, tying the game at one. Then in the seventh, the red and gray scored three times, highlighted by junior third baseman Kyle Reese's RBI double to center, giving Nichols a 4-1 win. Yeah, I think we had some jitters going in a little bit and a bunch of new guys in the lineup, so it was important for them to uh, respond the way they did and find themselves a little bit. And I thought it may take a little longer than it did, but they definitely responded against a really, really good club in Stony Brook. So I was proud of the effort. I was proud of uh, the defense we played and the way we pitched it on the mound, especially out of the bullpen. It was really well, it was really well pitched. The Colonels claimed the series on Sunday by shutting out Stony Brook 10-0. Senior catcher Christian Carrero got things going with a two-run home run in the first inning. Then sophomore center field Justin Holt stepped up in third and built to his first career home run. Sophomore right-hander Justin Simbaldi earned the win fanning four batters through six innings while allowing just four hits. We felt like we left some things out there, uh, but our intent to take care of business was important. For us to play, like I tell our players all the time, it's important for us uh, to understand that we are defined on, on Sundays, and the way they responded today was outstanding. The Colonels will face a tough test on Wednesday night, taking on nationally ranked LSU before heading this weekend to the Cox Diamond Invitational in Pensacola to take on the likes of North Florida, Southern Miss, and Troy. For Colonel Basketball Weekly, I'm Joanna Degree. Thank you so much, Joanna. Folks, you can find us on our social media sites and follow our teams all season long. Check us out on Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, and Snapchat. Folks, we're going to take a time out here on Colonel Basketball Weekly, presented by the Sports Medicine Center of Thibodeau Regional, and return in just a moment. In sports, you strive for first or best. The Sports Medicine Center of Thibodeau Regional is both. The region's first comprehensive sports medicine program with a team of the best sports medicine trained experts. You're serious about the game. We're serious about your safety. With advanced concussion testing technology and certified athletic trainers, we're keeping athletes safely in the game. Play hard. Play to win. The Sports Medicine Center of Thibodeau Regional will help you play it safe. Donnie, I'm in Rouse's at least three times a week, and I want the best prices every day. Come on, chef. Let's go shopping. All right. There's got to be at least a thousand items just on this one aisle. At Rouse's, we stock more groceries than anyone else. I can see that. So what's with the tag? Best price every day. It's the Rouse's guarantee. You're getting our lowest price every day. So when I see this tag, you know you don't have to wait for a sale. I can shop any day and get our best price every day. Rouse's, you're either local or you're not. Well, we're all about the people that we care for. At People's Health, we know that when it comes to health, what works is teamwork. Each People's Health Plan member has a team of talented professionals working together to coordinate care so our members can do what they love to do. That's what we do. We're here for you. 
the people's health. People's Health, your Medicare health team. You may not know this yet, but you've stumbled upon something great. With your first steps onto this campus, you'll definitely notice something special. We're going to turn your education into an experience, and we're going to find your passion and with it create endless possibilities. But you found more than just a university. You found a campus of believers, a campus of personal cheerleaders, investors, and dream makers. You found Nichols State University. Welcome home, Colonels. Back here with you on Colonel Basketball Weekly, presented by the Sports Medicine Center of Thibodeau Regional. Time to announce our Rouse's Student Athlete of the Week. You're either local or you're not. Louisiana's best can be found at your local Rouse's or at Rouse's.com. This week, it's Simone Hamilton. The senior from the Bahamas won the women's pentathlon shot put event at the Southern Conference Track and Field Championships in Birmingham on Monday. Folks, you can follow not only our basketball teams, but all 14 of our athletic programs on our official website, GoKernels.com. Check it out today and every day, G-E-A-U-X, GoKernels.com. That's going to do it for our program. We'll talk to you on the radio over this next week or so, and we'll check back here with you again next week with an update on the championship hunt. Until then, take care. Today's show has been presented by the Sports Medicine Center of Thibodeau Regional, the official sports medicine provider of Nichols Athletics. This program has also been sponsored by Rouse's Supermarkets. You're either local or you're not. And People's Health, your Medicare health team. This has been a presentation of the Colonel Sports Network.